What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy Rico with G Baby and Raul the Zookeeper, and we are the Friendly Fire Podcast, episode three. Thank y'all for coming back. Well, in this check, fellas, how we doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Zoo? I'm doing better now that I'm off work. Oh, man. You <laughs> tell me about it. Real quick, but you forgot to pay the bills. No, they, trust, I, I got that. Spotify got that. Oh, okay. They, my they bad, bro. My bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't bills trying to have get been paid. Bills, <laughs> been paid. bills have been paid. But, uh, yeah, we thank you guys for coming <laughs> back. Uh, before we really get into all the funny stuff, we're going to take a quick second and, once again, kind of reiterate our support of the Asian community in spite of all of this craziness that's been going on. Racism is bad on all fronts. This isn't a black versus Asian community situation. This is all of us against hate. Hate within each other. Hate from outside sources. Let's show love to one another. And let's stop being... Let's stop being... Let's just stop. Stop with hate. In, in the hate. In the Agreed. hate, just in general. We're only here for a short time. Facts. Like, what's like? what do you earn? What do you even gain from hating people? Like, Facts. You, uh, no happiness. There's no... There's no... There's nothing... There's nothing beneficial in hating somebody. It's, it's just people trying to... Um, Make up for what they lack. Yeah. It's like you get you letting them live rent free, as they say in your head. Like, I ain't never been bothered by somebody that much. Yeah, especially not because of something as stupid as the color of their skin. Like, I hate you because you were born with more melanin or less melanin than me. What do you gain from that? Agreed. There's no there's no benefit in that. And it, it needs to stop. And with that, we're gonna transfer and try to and just try to find something out. Um Caucasoids. Just thoughts and <laughs> prayers <laughs> to the no, Asian no. community. After yeah. we talked about not hating. White people. White people. We, we don't hate. We don't, we don't hate anybody. <laughs> no, but there's no. a strong dislike. Yeah, there's, there's a very strong dislike. There's something we no. need to find out, and no. the, the real question is just why. More Be- than anything. Before we start, did you see them people putting the yellow squares? No. You know how like for the Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. they put, people were putting black squares for the Asian hate. They doing yellow, yellow squares. That's that's racist within itself. Yeah, we people. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No. We can't continue with that. We, what you mean, man? Yellow's <laughs> yellow's mellow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yellow's mellow. We have to do better. We, we to stop hate, okay? And now, to white people, the you know who I'm talking about. I don't need to specify. Oh, all white people aren't bad. If this don't apply to you, it don't apply to you. Why? Why? Why are we so angry? Y'all have committed like three terrorist attacks within three months. You, I forgot the Capitol Hill terrorist attack was was in January. Yeah, bro. it just happened. It's just like whatever happened with that. Dude? They got kicked off planes, but I don't think anybody got sentenced. I don't. Nobody went to jail. You, they you, just like brushed it under. You the road. know how they brushed stuff on the road. It was popular on TikTok. Folks was like, "Oh yeah, I was at the I was at the rally. I was at the yeah. revolution." Then all of a sudden, they 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 accounts get banned. But that was it. That's all you saw. That's all you got. So I don't know what's the continuation. <laughs> they of just that. Said, uh, people forget about it. Just, just just lay low for a couple months. That's all they hope for. <laughs> I remember they was trying to lynch the black dude that shot old girl in the in the Capitol. Yeah. I'm like, nah, what about they not supposed to be here? They're not supposed <laughs> to be. He's doing right. what he was supposed to do. But yeah, you you know how it goes. It's one of those things. We'll raise the big ruckus. We'll make sure you guys know. Oh yeah, we're on your side about this. And then just all right, y'all just you know lay low. That white people stuff. That's what that white people stuff is. Yeah, <laughs> essentially, that's yeah. essentially what it is. And you know, we just we just wanted to address that and let it be known we are anti hate, but we also want to know white people why are some of y'all so pro hate. Like, what do y'all even gain? Y'all have everything going for y'all as of right now. Everything is still tilted in y'all favor. Y'all didn't okay. Y'all don't like Biden. He's still a white man, an old white man. <laughs> yeah, really old that. white men are the worst. It's yeah, the ninety three crime bill, whichever crime bill that was. Yeah, so the three strikes rule, right? That was what, that was yeah. that one. Three strikes law is drastic. Yeah. Certain death force ghetto bastards. <laughs> talk to him. Talk to him, G. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. That's all we trying to figure out, man. It's not nothing, nothing much. We just want to know why. I, I, I personally, I don't have a specific reason. There's no real reason, cause it's like y'all are currently winning. Facts. Like, no, nah, they're kind of losing on. They, they're losing. And what sports? Sports, everything. What else they like, I mean, Every the white people aren't the best people no, around. No, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> saying they're the best. I'm saying they have everything currently anchored towards them. Everything is angled for their benefit in one well, way or another. Well, it's on the down shift now. Like, shit's starting to change. Like, nah, it, it's starting really, to change. Really not I mean, really. they it's still ha- hold all the cards, but, you know, we might have yeah. a little a, a book we here. Draw four. We got a book yeah. here and there, you know. <laughs> we got a two and a possible. A you never know. Possible. We got a skip. Maybe. They a reverse, skip. you know, let's do this over. <laughs> 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 We're trying to reshuffle the deck. They keep adding and subtracting cards to yeah. their favor. They, they, they be using that, like, that fake Uno nowadays, the, where the ones you can write your own rules with. <laughs> they, doing that they see us get down to Uno, and they got to <laughs> swap, <laughs> swap hands. Yeah, like swap. <laughs> stupid bullshit. Uno, why'd you insert that? That was such a dumb... <laughs> I hated that, too. Like, that's, that's how... 
first of all, Uno's you know, already yeah like a you, fucking yeah, aggressive Uno game. Uno is already a game that you fight over when it's like you gotta play house rules. He, I may stack, G Baby may not stack. You may have yeah. a whole different version of stack that we ain't never even heard of. Yeah. But that's the thing is, Uno is aggressive and white people are aggressive. <laughs> but Uno can't be more aggressive than white people. White people don't like that. <laughs> true. White people will find some racism in the Uno card game. They'll change that name to one. And watch, watch, y'all keep playing. One. One, one yeah, out. One. <laughs> that's all. That's or all thirteen for them. Thirteen stars, <laughs> <laughs> colonies, whatever. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is what we are. We we are just three minority men trying to figure out the why. The why. why Uno? Why white people? Just why? Just why all together? Honestly. Now let's talk about real quick, ladies. Just, just, it's gonna be like two seconds. We gotta talk about why. NBA. Just, just hit the skip, the just, 15 second skip button twice. If, if the video <laughs> good, uploads, good. I'll give y'all the little stamp as to when y'all yeah. can skip ahead to. Uh, and I forgot to do the time starts yet again. It's all good. <laughs> the NBA, fellas. Maybe y'all shouldn't just skip it. Maybe y'all should just learn a little yeah. something, you know, help with y'all conversation. Yeah. Y'all, may be able, y'all, y'all may be able to further communicate with your boyfriend about yeah. the world of sports. Trying to figure out why oh. he's so upset. You yeah. seen Wiggins? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will ever ask But that be question. careful. They're going to think you're cheating. I just introduced him to like the Just be like you listen to the Friendly Fire introduce podcast. Introduce him to the podcast. Yeah, we don't know you. You don't know us. Available on all DSPs on Mondays. That was great advertising. I am proud of that. Right? I didn't even ask him to do that. That was great. He's been practicing. He was sitting here when we came down to say it. He's, he, he had his headphones <laughs> on just meditating on what to say. He just was waiting for the right moment to insert. That. I got a three-man podcast where it's just myself talking to myself and myself <laughs> as well. <laughs> in your own voice. In my own voice. <laughs> I slightly changed it up a little bit. But real quick, let's let's talk about it, fellas. The NBA trades, the ones that did happen, the ones that didn't happen. First of mm. all, AK Arturis, yeah. thank you on behalf of all the Chicago land area. Thank you for doing something. We something. Oh, I'm just proud of something. Y'all have been just terrible with draft picks since ninety mm. what five when Mike retired. Whatever, man. So I'm, I'm yeah, just I'm glad for something. I'm glad yeah. we made some sort of move. My boy Vucevic. Vucevic. Not gonna lie, we got our ass whooped yesterday. Yeah, that was oh. bad. That, that was a bad but coming out party. He they came good, back. They, they were down thirty. They came back to like seven. I they think. lost by sixteen. But like I tell, <laughs> they cut it down to seven. At like one I point. tell my man Rico, you want to get your losing out the way because we gonna go sixteen and zero in the playoffs. Yeah. We gonna we gonna win next year. We gonna win a year after that. Clay gonna come. Jimmy gonna come back. We ten rings. Ten rings. Ten rings just right out the gate. Ten rings. Not if KD got something. Not to say not about straight. It. There'll be eight straight. Eight straight. Eight straight. And then they they gonna build another super franchise. <laughs> but the Bulls will be back. We got Levine. Yeah, yeah. I hope he's Levine dropping forty every game. I hope he stay. No, I think he's gonna stay now. Think they so? Because they actually make they, 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 They're talking about getting people in the off season. I, I'm telling you, they gonna throw that contract at Lonzo. Yes. I, 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 but, uh, they go. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. He's better than Kobe White. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He's better than Kobe White. He's a but, better point but, guard than Kobe White. Co- yes, Kobe sure. White has better upside. Like potential. I feel like Lonzo's already kind of. I don't know. Hitting. That's Lonzo, all. That's I all kind of open to. It's subjective. People's interp- yeah, subjective. And, and, his and brother made him. It depends on how hard they work. They work in the offseason too. That is we'll true. See. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, there's some there's some folks who I thought was gonna get moved around that didn't get moved around. Lonzo Ball was one of them. Kyle Lowry was one of them. Nobody, nobody wants Lowry Markinen. Nope. I, I think that's what it was. <laughs> we we were think. doing our best to get rid of him. Nobody wanted we, him. We man. his name was all in trade conversations, and everybody was like, ah. Y'all should have swung for that Aaron Gordon. Mm, you think so? I, yeah. I mean, you yeah. could because then you could have worked something out with Denver. If you could have made yeah. some some happen. I feel like though to get both Aaron Gordon and Nikola Vucevic, it would have been a lot. Nah. Like, because I think Orlando it, it, it doing was already, with him. It, it was already a lot to get Vucevic. We gave well, up two of our first round picks for next you year. You could have added Lari and added um my boy Felicio. Felicio. Scope. What, what Nobody the wants <laughs> Felicio. The Bulls don't even want Felicio <laughs> and Denzel, right now. Add Denzel too. Old bro. man game. Denzel the whole squad. Just the whole. Just get rid of the whole bench and just. The the winner of these of uh, the trade deadline would be Miami, in my opinion. You think so? Oladipo really helped them out, giving yeah. them another option on scoring. Yeah, for sure. That's so I mean, that definitely turned they them had into Oladipo a contender. Last year, they would have won last year. Yeah, yeah. Oladipo is better awesome. than KCP, Kuzma. Yeah, and pretty much the rest of that team. <laughs> what y'all think about uh, Drummond going to the Lakers? It'll work out depending on how AD comes back. Mm-hmm. If AD come back and he's soft as he is. Then uh, it's probably not going to work. Why are we slandering AD? Bro, AD played like 80 games in six <laughs> years, bro. This man came in the league hurt. Hey, man. That's it, true. But, uh, 
He don't play through nothing. He oh, dislocated finger out six months. It's the Chicago plague, bro. Everybody in Chicago. He was, Everybody from Chicago. He was hurt. soft uh-uh. in New Orleans. He was skinny in New Orleans. And he was soft too. <laughs> Baby soft. <laughs> Never forget that Sean picture of him at, uh, in Duke. What happened? Where he's like butt naked, getting spanked. We're not gonna talk about that. Soft <laughs> as a wet you baby's see, that ass. Was, that, was, that was at Kentucky, first of all. We're not gonna. Talk oh yeah, about yeah, that. not Duke. My you bad, probably man. hurt there too. Who knows, man? But yeah, I'm very interested. In, but first of all, we gotta talk about the doggone Nets trying to like reassemble the Avengers or something. Hey. Like. Won't mean a thing if KD don't come back. Right. Yeah, the Marcus That's Aldridge. True. He couldn't even have a team as a free agent. He, he really could have went to anybody. And it was, I thought he was going to go to Miami. Miami he should have went to that team called Retirement. No. <laughs> Marcus Aldridge washed. I don't he's care what nobody says. I don't think he is. He's a good bench player. He's, he, he's, he's definitely going to be a good vet for them. He was just an all-star know. last year. Like I told you last <laughs> everybody made that team. Everybody did not make that team. <laughs> oh, man, I'm the biggest Kobe fan. Here, man, here's a jersey. Go out there and make him proud. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but, no, I think, first of all, the Nets – I don't think that's going to work. I always said it, even when they first just had, was getting hardened. I'm like, next year. I'll always get, I'm like, because they're going to get a bunch of ring chasing vets. I don't know how Blake and LaMarcus are going to do come playoff time. Then it's like, how much are they going to play come playoff time? It's one of them, it's like a. Well, because Harden's going to be gone by playoffs because he's doing so much right now. You think so? Like, he's going to be spent by the playoffs. So that's why if KD don't come back and be on one, then mm-hmm. that team ain't, they probably, they going to struggle against Philly. Is he killing and, out of necessity or out of the fact that he just knows he's that good, you think, at this point? I mean, he's that good, but it helps when you have Kevin Durant and Kyrie that's what in I'm effect. Because you were saying, well, true. Because it's the same thing as why you look at uh, the Houston. Mm-hmm. It was like, man, he's a triple double machine, dropping forty every other night. You get to the playoffs and you spent, like, you yeah. spent all that time trying to get here and you ain't got enough. Also, playoffs, the defense is just way more packed in. So it's, but it's like the fact that he isn't ISO, ISO, ISO. He may be able to kind of pull that out his bag again come playoffs. I mean, yeah. definitely. But if you have KD there, like, you can't be doing that for seven. Like, the East is East is tougher yes. than it's been. Yeah. Like, you got the Bucks, you got Miami, you got Boston. Miami going to hurt somebody. Indiana though. might snatch somebody by surprise. Yeah, you never the, know. You got the Bulls sneaking in there. The Bulls, yeah, I forgot. You got to get through them. You got to get through the <laughs> They, they conference finals bound off rip. No matter where they – if they finish 10th, they in the conference finals. What do you do we, when we Kobe just, White get the ball? We just got to get to the, get out uh, the, way. the play-in tournament, man. We just got to get when to the Archie play-in Archie Dinakino tournament. gets the ball. I don't even that? know who the hell that is. But get many. out the way. The little white boy. He a hustle boy. I, he, he can play. He, he's a, probably the best point guard. He's like the best charge player in the in the league. John Pax knows how to take a charge. <laughs> yeah, he, hey, he, he he can take a charge. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm I'm very excited for this NBA season uh, to really like pick up after everybody kind of went where they were gonna go. Uh, Austin Rivers, I don't know if y'all saw this. Austin Rivers is supposed to go to the Bucks, and it's gonna be a that's big, a nice trade. That's a nice. No, he's no, going not, to, That's uh, a pickup. Uh, that's a pickup. That's yeah, a nice pickup. That's a nice pickup off the bench uh, for him. So it, it's just a lot. Uh, I feel bad for Lou Will. I thought he. I wanted him to have the chance to fight for a ring in L.A. It was like, nah, go get your lemon pepper wings. And <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> but I mean, what is, how old is Lou Williams? Uh, I want to say about 32, 33. He said he, he contemplated retiring once he got traded. Yeah, I would have too. I mean, you got to think. You like go you've reached a, your ceiling. You got to. C- could you imagine I how fucked up that would have been? You asked for the trade, and then I like, think it would become vetoed after that. I oh, word? I think. I, I don't know. Because that would have been wild. It was like, yeah, we got Lou. Nah, he just, like, nah, he just decided to retire. I feel that, though, because it got to a point where it's like he was still producing pretty well. I mean, he's coming off the bench. So you're not expecting him to drop 30 every night. He was still producing really well off the bench, and this is a team that potentially has a chance to make it to the finals, barring anything crazy happening. No, they or, had no chance. Shut yeah, up. Shut up. <laughs> Let me finish my sentence. Last That's, year was the year that I see. Uh, uh, that team is horrible. Can't nobody find their offense. That's not true. Literally, Paul George and Kawhi were having MVP seasons. Yeah, but you like, know Paul George in the playoffs. We'll see. Playoff P. I, I'm, I'm one of the biggest Paul George fanatics <laughs> because I, I always root for him. He, oh. he got to prove something. Oh, Captain. Oh, Captain. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first to say, though, he definitely got to prove something. He can't just be like, I, I, I'm not going to excuse if he has a bad performance. I, I don't make excuses for NBA players having bad performances unless they was, like, obviously hurt. He played terrible in the bubble. That's just point blank period. But I think he's going to have a really good playoff run. We'll see, though. I could be wrong. But back to Lou Will, I just think it was tough because it's like, obviously, the Clippers, you know, something could have happened. They could have got there. But when you go to Atlanta, Atlanta not looking at the playoffs this year. They're not going to sniff the playoffs. Nobody in the East should be happy for the playoffs with them bullies running on. <laughs> <laughs> back Talk to Chicago. Wait, watch for Chicago. There ain't, ain't no game. Just wait, watch, watch for them. It's over with. 
I'm excited. I'm very excited as no, a Chicago Bull fan. I am. They got they got my boy Tias. What are you gonna do when Tias comes off the bench? It's Chice, but it's I, 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 I can't even I, pronounce the I, man's I name. I don't think. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, we got my boy Tias. That's not what his mama named. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jewish Jordan, Kobe Bryant. What? Uh, <laughs> Dude, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Here, we go. Here you go. Uh, but yeah, so I'm very excited for the NBA season. I think it's gonna or the, the the second half of the NBA season. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but the real reason we are here, ladies and gentlemen. We have all viewed the Justice League Snyder yeah. Cut. We watched all four hours of it, slaved away, wasted our eyes for you to give a review and what we yeah. thought of it. I'm going to start with Zoo because he is the uh, latest one to watch it. He I did. I, just, wa- I he literally watched it, it last night. two hours night. ago. Like, <laughs> <laughs> opinion, my friend. Well, I just think it's funny. Right now, we have the TV playing. We're watching Endgame in the background. This shit trash. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> Ch- turn the channel off right now. I turned off the ring light. Got to turn it back oh, on. What the fuck? Tony Stark died for no reason. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But yeah, back to did. back to no. Back, so I, I yeah, came in. Wa- I I don't, I've never watched a single DC movie besides Batman. Any Batman movie. Uh huh. And even as a kid, the only DC related shows I'd watch was Batman Beyond, mm-hmm. specifically that version. And Teen Titans. Mm-hmm. It was on Cartoon Network. Shout out Terry McGinnis. Shout out Terry so McGinnis. So I didn't, and, and every every time I hear about a DC movie, I always hear it's trash. So I, I wasn't even going to watch this movie. If it wasn't for this podcast, I would have not watched this movie. <laughs> but I am glad I watched this movie. It was a really, really, really good movie. Even though it was four hours. When I first came into it, I was like, fuck, this is like a chore. But Tell the truth, though. He was 30 minutes in, it was like, this is trash. I was shit Endgame, talking, though. Endgame fuck out and of Infinity it. War are better. He went silent for an hour and a half. He came back. He was like, bro, this movie is awesome. This movie was a fucking Because well, they amazing. had fucking Batman, Ben Affleck, looking like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't like ba- uh, Ben Affleck's uh, Batman voice. I think you don't like his, his Batman voice? Not his voice. I, I like him as Batman. I don't like his it's voice. Got that, he's got this scrambler, yeah. so it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of off. They could it, do something. They never, I feel like no Batman has like picked out the best voice. Like, Christian Bale always sounded like he needed a haul. I don't even think Michael <laughs> Keaton or any of them even tried to use a Batman voice. I the mean, cartoon them niggas, them niggas just talked. <laughs> Kevin Conroy has the best oh, yeah, Batman yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. the best one. Any live action, though, they haven't even like attempted a Batman voice. They was just like... Any live action voice, just have Kevin Conroy do it. Just the voice and of just, just everybody, let, let that be the scramble. That just it, yeah. I, I agree. G-Baby. Uh, like I said, I'm not the biggest DC guy because, you know, I'm Spider-Man ride or die. I, I, I. But, um, no, it was really good. It was real good. And like I say, uh, it was better than the last two Avengers movies, in not, my opinion. The last two? That's the last saying, not two. The last two. You the last it. two. Okay, just your opinion. I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> Maybe Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, if like, if, if I'm going to pull out a list, it's better than Captain America 1. It's better than Thor 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. But but it's you got to think of it. Cold. This just no, one was, was supposed not. to be there. Thor, Thor 1 was cold. It was all right. It was lukewarm. It wasn't cold. <laughs> Ragnarok was good. Ragnarok was too funny. Ragnarok, I was like, it was. I like, didn't even laugh at Ragnarok. I was trying to. I was it, like, I couldn't get into it because I was already like, in my opinion, I'm like, all right, when I see a goofy movie, I'm expecting like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. To see now, mind you, to Chris Hemsworth Thor. is funny, but it was like to see Thor, the dude who was speaking in Shakespearean tongue, the last two movies, yeah. all of a sudden cracking jokes. It's like ah. It wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't like, oh, shoot, this is the funniest movie in the world. Like, yeah. nah. But uh, now this DC movie, it had, I mean, I guess because I watched all the Marvel shits first, it did have a lot of similarities. Like, cause I, don't, I don't even read the comments for DC, for comics for DC. Uh-huh. So I don't know. Like, I know, like, a lot of their characters are similar. Yeah. When I was watching the movie, everything, oh, my bad. Oh, no. But, yeah, when I was watching the movie, it was like, you know, The Flash was basically Spider-Man. Uh, Wonder Woman was Captain Marvel. I, I just kept making comparisons the whole like that. That's why I was talking shit like the first thirty minutes and like the 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 sorry spoilers if you guys are watching like the the fucking boxes. Mm-hmm. Those were basically the Infinity Stones, and what, cool, and, eh? and, and <laughs> so so it was kind of like uh, at first it was uh, but then nah the, the last two hours was fucking amazing. Yeah, that 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 was it was a hit. I I thoroughly enjoyed it um way more. It was one of the things where it's like because DC in my opinion. They re- they only have, in my opinion, before Justice League, three good movies. I would say maybe Aquaman, the first Wonder Woman. Uh, man said Aquaman. Aquaman was cold. <laughs> <laughs> look, you look. mean Bat- the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight no, no, Rises, no, no, and ta- the Dark Knight Returns? I'm talking about, I'm talking about the DCEU. This, oh, the, this, yeah. this one. Yeah, I mean, Dark, Dark Knight is in a well, league. Well, then there was no Aquaman good Aquaman. Dark, Ni- Dark Knight is in like a league of its own when it comes to movies right, in general, this, let alone comic book movies. But this DCU, there have been no I good movies. I said it had like maybe three. I, I would say maybe three. Three? I said, like I said, I liked Aquaman. I liked Wonder Woman. Uh, Dawn of Justice was I. 
So I like, I, I like to. I like the Superman Justice, movie. Uh, Superman I like the was Superman okay. Movie. Yeah. So, but this Justice League movie was a hit, in my opinion. It, yeah, was, it was good. It was good. I don't know if they'll continue this because apparently Zack Snyder just was like, let me get this one off. And then they was like, all right, fine. But like, they potentially aren't bringing him back for nothing. I think else. the fans could bully him into. But uh, no, the I. The um, fans bully Sonic into fixing the animation, yeah, so yeah. anything is possible. But no, I read because uh, that was Warner Brothers that told them they're not going to continue the Snyderverse. Mm-hmm. But um, HBO Max said they'll finish the trilogy with him. Really? Yeah, yeah that's what they said. They'll fund it if he wants to do it. Because hey, fucking uh, Warner Bros. They they already got a new Batman. They got fucking uh, yeah, Robin Pattinson. Robert That's what I was saying. And speaking of Batman. Real quick, real quick. Before the Batman slander. I, I, I know a lot of comic book fans out here feel the same way. I hate an origin story. Like, if you don't know how Batman got his mm-hmm. Batman or Spider-Man got his Batman, then you shouldn't be watching it. Yeah. yeah. I love how, like, you don't need a Flash movie because they touched on it enough. You yeah. don't need a Cyborg movie because they touched show. on it enough. Yeah. You know, it's like... And he, you explained all of Flash in five minutes. Yeah, you really dope. did. And you know what I'm saying? Now it's just straight action and story. So I love that the Justice League movie did that. Yeah, it was really, really good. And I, the 10-minute uh, slow-mo of uh, Jason Momoa, Aquaman, taking off his shirt every that, five that, minutes. That took, like, Bro. Uh, it was like, okay, <laughs> I we, was get like, it. Yo. we get it. Women are watching. Yeah. Move forward. Hey, <laughs> I'm like, if I look like that, I'd be I'll, taking my, my shirt my off shirt every 10 minutes. Every two I'd, I'd be the annoying customer I'll walking into the store. I would be doing a podcast shirtless, just like, hey, this is the front of the If I look like it, I might do the same. My thing is, like, why you got to get naked to get into the water? Like, you going to take it off anyway. Water does not affect you. And he's wearing jeans. He's wearing jeans in the water. He, he hopped in the water with Tim's. Where'd the Tim's go? <laughs> Zack Snyder, where are them Tim's at? <laughs> Zack, you need to speak about those Tim's, man. And I saw it because, like I said, I, I really liked the movie, so I watched it, and then I went on YouTube and watched like a, like a mini version. Where it was just like really the action Yeah, thing. it was like He watched in. a two-hour mini version I, I, of a four-hour <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, watched, uh, in I was reading the comments. One of them was funny. When, when he's taking off his shirt and one, he's drinking the, the water. He throws the fucking in glass the, in the the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> this is your habitat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't care about. I life. told my mama this. I told. I mean, I told. Uh, who was I talking to? I talked to my girl. I said the same thing. I'm like, why is he throwing this glass into the ocean? You talk to fish. You ain't gonna tell me you ain't just cut up one of your homies real quick. Yeah. Trying to be cool, like that don't make any sense. Talk. Come on. How, how he? How is he Aquaman? He got his ass beat in the water. That don't make him like a random ass so, dude. A comic Superman, nerd. <laughs> Superman can fly and get whooped in the air all the time. And that's another point. I cannot stand Superman, but Zack Snyder is the first person to give Superman a W. Superman yeah. been getting his ass whooped for 70 years. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time he didn't ever whoop somebody's ass thoroughly. He gave him the business. Thing. I remember that one movie when he got stabbed with the kryptonite shank. I was like, come on, bro. Superman Returns. Yeah, yeah. like, come on. You were getting whooped on the train, bro. He like, was, you Superman. He, yeah, he was getting whooped basically throughout that whole movie. That whole movie was just, oh, we're not going to talk about that. That, yeah. that whole movie was yeah. just like. If you haven't seen Justice League, go watch it. Please and thank you. Really, really good. Uh, Cyborg was the MVP of that movie. Yeah, by the Cyborg way. was really, really. Shout really out to that black really man. Really they, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful yeah, that cool. they gave him a full blown story of yeah. who he was. Uh, they switched it up by killing his dad off because his dad wasn't killed off in the. Yeah, original. I didn't watch yeah. the first one. I heard that that he did. So like, I didn't like like that, but I liked the fact that his dad did it like as a sacrifice yeah. to like show him. Hey, this is where it's gonna be at. I was confused at first. I was, like, well, I was like, nigga, if you don't get outside that yeah, block, I was like, why would you kill yourself? But <laughs> like, what is the goal? But then I saw what the reason was. His dad bogus as hell for not. Like putting some skin over him, like you could get, yeah. you could have grafted some <laughs> up tempos on. That him was or my something. only complaint about Cyborg's like model is like, bro, he ain't yeah. got no skin besides his face. Just I'm, face. I'm thinking like he can't wear clothes. Titans. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking Teen Titans, like the co- the original comic books. He had his arm, he had like a, some thigh meat. Yeah. It was like no. Nah, this man metal. has a face. He, he got metal <laughs> and half waves. Like they was like they was half cyborg, half human. That man was cheeks and eyeball <laughs> human. The rest was robot. And what's so crazy is that that enough of them had survived when they were showing like the stuff attached yeah. to them. It was like where was all like, of that? Like his whole torso. They just yeah. covered. They just like oh, we're gonna get rid of all of that. The, what what enough of him had survived? That man was an arm and a chest. No, <laughs> they didn't even give him his chest. His dad was I can fix you, son. <laughs> don't please don't let, <laughs> let him die. Let let him die. Dude was up there looking like Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm so thankful that they that they fixed some stuff. Like you said, they, they got rid of like all the or the extra origin stories. Yeah. Uh Wonder and Woman was pretty cool. Yeah, Wonder Woman was dope. I, I like because I'm like super into Greek like mythology and shit. Uh-huh. And I even texted him while I was watching. I was like, yo, Hercules is in this shit. Cause yeah. I didn't know that was because because yeah. I was in, I was like paying attention and I saw him and I I saw he had like the the pelt. So I thought it was the lion's pelt that Hercules like eventually gets, 
So I was like, oh, Hercules is in this shit. And then, like, literally, like. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. (laughs) And then, literally, like, 20 seconds later, they're like, Zeus and Ares. I was like, oh, there goes that out of the fucking window. (laughs) They was was boxing. But I hope that they give uh, Snyder a chance to basically just complete what he had. Because we got to see Darkseid. Yeah, it was dope. Like, we, like, Darkseid gave him a look and then just walked away. We need hands. He just has to cut down on every time Wonder Woman pops up, the little. The fucking singing in the background. Oh yeah. man, that every was every time she popped up, <laughs> I, I, no, I understand for maybe the big moments, but literally every time she did anything, she she breathed the right way. Yeah, it was a, and, <laughs> and, and we gonna stop acting like them little baby ass gauntlets gonna block every bullet. I, no, that's that's honestly, I get it. In the in the comics and cartoons, she like precise with them hoes. My Come on, thing, dude! I was dude more, let the AK rip, and she was. Tee, 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 tee. I'm, all right, I was more upset that every time she clapped them hoes together, like literally throughout that movie, she clapped them hoes together four times, and something extraordinary happened up until that last part. I'm like, I was yeah. rooting for the heroes. I'm like, finally, I'm sick and tired of her clapping her hands, and <laughs> it's just a life changing event for whoever she going against. No, show me what happens when them hoes don't work. Because Superman was like, no. <laughs> yeah, right. This Justice League movie made me actually want to go watch both Wonder Womans, but I probably still won't. Not the second one, watch the first one. I'm probably not going to watch either one of them. I, think you, I, <laughs> I, I honestly think you'll like the first I one. I fell asleep on the first one twice. With the, with the same viewing? Yeah. No, I, like I watched 45 minutes, I was, oh, I forgot. Watched 30 minutes, and I was, no, nah, I can't do this. That's fair. That's fair. I watch it in theaters, and I don't fall asleep in theaters. I don't pay because you pay for it. Because <laughs> I paid okay. for it. That would put me snacks. to sleep in theaters. I'd have been mad as hell. That's them thirty minute dollars snacks. I'd have been. I stuck these Wendy's cheeseburgers in here <laughs> to fall asleep during this. Oh. <laughs> look, my, my my girl. I told her when we first started talking. I'm like, look, I'm not paying for these thirty five dollar. You better go to CVS with me and get these Reese pieces. Cargo yeah. pants, bro. That's what I man during the summer. Like when I was, uh, I think my junior year in college. All I. Throw them all like, in there. Uh, me, me and uh, me and this girl one time. She's not listening because we don't talk no more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we 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 did like we, we did some funny shit where where we pretended she was quote unquote pregnant. Where you wrap around the, the thing. We just we, funny. We just wanted to see what people would do. Uh-huh. So we wrapped the uh, like all the like the chips and shit, all mm-hmm. the snacks, and we wrapped it with a uh, fucking saran wrap. Yeah. And so it looked. It gave her a, ba- a belly bump, and it looked legit. It wasn't bro. poking out in no weird. No, spot. it was like legit, legit, like a perfect. Uh huh. Bro, we were getting the meanest looks from these old Mexican ladies, bro, judging the fuck out. Once well, so y'all started yanking them hoes out, or they just like, oh, she's pregnant. They was judging. Oh like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we got in there smoothly, and then we, we took them out once yeah. we got They're in like, there. They're like, what are you having? Oh, peanut M and M. I remember my grandma one time when we were younger. She brought a bunch of Ziploc bags. She got, and mind you, she got. At the time, she had eight grandkids, and she took seven of us to the movie theater. Mm-hmm. So, like, she got, like, a large thing of popcorn, threw them all in the Ziploc bag, and then told me to go get a refill. I'm like, oh, okay. And it literally did it, like, four times. We all had, like, our own big old bag oh, of Ziploc L- of uh, popcorn. I was like, that you smart. I forget which movie. It might have been Ice Age, but my pops and my mom uh-huh. bought like a whole pot roast, mashed potatoes, <laughs> green beans. Yeah, I was right. like, I swear, bro, they was like in my OG purse. Was, oh, mashed with the potatoes. I was, come on, bro. Like, come on. Wait Dude. a minute. Wait. <laughs> bro, I'm Wait telling you. Oh, no. I, for, I forget, bro, but it was like a pot roast. And I was a picky eater, so I didn't really eat anything. Uh-uh. But I'm talking about he was, I right, need to eat some of this because I ain't paying for this expensive ass shit. Mind you, <laughs> we weren't the richest folks out, there, out in the world. But, you know, we may do. My mama was the first one that told me to start bringing candy in. Because we, like, we used to, when we were shorties, we used to get, like, candy and snacks all the time. We hit our gross first. My dad was like, enough of that. And so we started watching, like, a bunch of movies without eating snacks. Like, well, and I had got used to it. And my, I think my mom wanted to take us out one time. So we was like, can we, you know, get some popcorn? She's like, boy, if you don't get some Pop-Tarts up in the, up in that kitchen and bring it with you. I'm like, what? We can do this? Me and my high school homies used to tear the theater down, bro. Cargo pants. We got french fries, chicken sandwiches, Damn. nuggets just in the pockets. Nobody yeah. would say anything. We get in there and just, hey, yo, pass me the McFlurry. <laughs> you ain't never snuck a McFlurry. Man, we had drinks in the back pocket. We had all this stuff. Oh, my God. Then, then 3XL, double XL. Mind, XL, mind you, we was all some fat motherfuckers back then. So, <laughs> so it was kind of like. You get away with it, It yeah. was kind of like, yeah, in the hoodie. But, man, we, we used to, they was mad as hell at us. They was like, man, 
Yeah. <laughs> Sneaking candy in is by far one of my favorite pastimes. Cause it's just, and what's so crazy is that the people who work for the theater don't even care. I remember they don't. I remember talking to one of them. I didn't have nothing on me at the time, but they was like, bro, we don't care if y'all bring stuff in. Just don't have that whole out in the open. You can't walk in with a whole picnic basket yeah. full of stuff. Yeah, they don't sneak, care. Sneak it in. Do what you're supposed to the do. The only people that care in. are the security guards there. They, they be thinking that y'all way too serious. Bro, security guards everywhere. Take yeah. their jobs way too seriously sometimes. If they, if you don't got a, if they ain't giving you a gun, what do you care that much about what's going on for? Stop, he's trying to eat free candy. Like, oh my God, <laughs> such a scoundrel. What, yeah. Whatever will we do, sir? Candy that he bought from somewhere else. <laughs> so well, it's not it's, even like a stolen It's crazy candy. that a movie date would cost you like 70 bucks. That's insane. <laughs> I, I, every time I think about it, like luckily, because we started going to the movies like a lot. We got the little passes yeah. or like the little membership thing. Oh, okay. Cause I was like, I'm not finna keep dropping forty dollars every two weeks. Cause this was a time when the movies was coming out like left and yeah, right. Yeah, I remember. So we was going like every weekend. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna keep doing and it was this. Good movies too. It, legit some hits. We used to catch the matinees four fifty. I at nine o'clock in the morning. This be up. I, we finna yeah. see watch Planet of the Apes. My dad <laughs> made us do that for a superhero movie. I felt I think it was one of those Spider Man movies. He had yeah. us like up at like nine o'clock in the morning. I'm like, Dad, what are we doing? We going to the movies. For what? To see Spider-Man. I'm like, at 11 o'clock? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm talking about, we'd be out, like, it'd be 11 o'clock. Y'all trying to go swimming? Yeah. Like, <laughs> we didn't see the movie already. Uh, we might as well go do something productive. Like, goodness. But yeah, so to, to kind of summarize, Justice League Snyder was a great movie. Uh, thank God for Cyborg, MVP. Wonder Woman needs to stop clapping her freaking bracelets yeah. all together. Flash was was pretty. He talked. Flash talked too much. For I'm me. saying he, he he was he was like basically the yeah. Tom Holland Spider Man. Flash he was like the com- like when, when, when he saved the day, my nigga. We ain't trying to hear the calculations behind yeah. what you got to do. Just do it. But that was dope because yeah, he was was like because he was overpowered, so he knew he had limits. Like he had yeah. to put rules in, to keep himself in check. I get it, but it's like at the same time he was like, yeah, you know, calculating the, the yeah. point of speed. At the, I'm like, and Superman just still run. beat his ass. Just. Run. <laughs> just run and do what you're supposed to do. My man ran, froze time, and Superman just looked at him and was like, you know I see you, right? <laughs> I'm going to need a clearer, like, power scaling. Uh-huh. Because it seems like... Superman is up there with Flash, with no, speed. No, because it seems like Aquaman should be able to hold Superman. Not beat him, but he should be able to hang with him. It all kind of de- it depends on who the writer is. Because in most places, like, Wonder Woman and, and Superman are like a stalemate. Aquaman and Superman, it kind of depends. Because I've heard where people have been like, uh, Aquaman is just underwater Superman. Like, they pretty much strength for strength. Mm-hmm. But, and then I'm like, damn, Aquaman getting his ass whooped. He got his ass whooped the whole movie. Because I was terrified for Ben Affleck when he beat the other <laughs> Justice League members. I was like, oh, you ain't got a <laughs> like, chance. Bro, that was he like, finna was destroy like, you. He finna <laughs> heat vision. Mm, he over with. You, you better call Robin or Nightwing or something, some backup. You better. can get your ass whooped. Oh, <laughs> talking about Robin, did you guys like the ending where yeah. when the Joker popped up? I think up? that was good. Yeah. That was, but see, like, that's one of them things. That was like, a, time, a different time. Yeah, that, that's the thing where Zach is like, look, y'all niggas see how they reacting to it. Now I didn't yeah. I didn't put this end credit in here for nothing. Yeah. What are we gonna do? No, that shit was dope as fuck. Because that little bit of Jared Leto's Joker was way better than that. Suicide Squad bullshit. Oh my god, what it, way better than that, Suicide Squad. That, and that Joaquin Phoenix bullshit. Like, you like Joaquin, Phoenix. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix was good in my hell opinion. no. I think it was good. Hell I, no. I liked it because it, it wasn't supposed to be a. It was weird because it was like it was supposed to be based off the comics, but it it, didn't it was fit. like a mental health it, movie trying to be a Batman movie. I'm it was like, more no. like a, it was like a, it was like the start of like the Crown Prince of Crime. It was like it was but no. I'm not finna get beat up by Joaquin Phoenix, and he not finna just tell me what to do. He crazy really beat, as he, he is. He ain't really beat nobody up. Because he, he couldn't. Exactly. The so, real star of that movie was my girl, uh, Zazie Beetz. Or, I was so... Or, I'm like, what a how queen. did he pull Zazie? What a queen. And I was like, ah, mental illness. That and, that, no, that, and, and that's what threw me, because there, I do not know what part of that movie was real. That's, I think that was the point. <laughs> but no, that's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Think about, because uh, did, did any see, of that happen? Did, did you see Inception? Yeah. What was real? Was the kids uh, that, real? That's yeah, that was real. Why? Because the dreidel was spinning. That wasn't his uh his feathers. That's cause, that's because they ran out of that time movie time. The you, r- you just trying to reach now. No, it's <laughs> true. Stretch before you reach. No, next time. the <laughs> ring was his, his his wedding ring was his tether. No, it was the dreidel. It was his wedding ring. Whenever he was awake, he had his wedding ring go. It's been a minute, so I'm gonna have to rewatch I'm, it. All right, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll but but no, but it's like you the way you open it. Uh huh. Then it's like okay, this dude's crazy hard on his luck, and then he's just talking to the psychiatrist. And then it's back and forth. Then this isn't real. This is, is the ending real? 
Sweet. Like, what part did it stop being real and what part was fake? I don't even know if we'll get a sequel, so we may never even get that. Because I wouldn't, pay, I wouldn't go see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joaquin Phoenix, because you was an ugly motherfucker dancing. That's what you won the award for. <laughs> Let me go fuck yourself, Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand uh, no. where this hate Joaquin Phoenix has, has stemmed from. Oh, Murray, shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. That movie was horrible. That movie was good. I enjoyed it. But dude's 45, and you got Bruce Wayne. So like, he's 70 fighting a 35-year-old Batman? That, that's one thing that didn't completely make sense. It didn't sense. make no sense But the at thing, all. It, was about, it was about him. It was about the Joker. So it was supposed to be, it was a potential, or because nobody knows the true origins of the Joker. So this was like a potential explanation. Now, the best origin of the Joker is the killing joke. That's the best origin I've ever yeah. seen of the Joker. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, dang, what was he finna? Oh, we was finna slam the Batman. We need to talk. <laughs> first of all, okay, before we slam the Batman, wh- how, what are you guys' expectations now that you guys have seen Justice League and what Ben Affleck has done with Batman? What is y'all expectations for Robert Pattinson's Batman? Uh, depending, uh, I, obviously, it depends who directs the fucking movie. True. Cause Didn't they, we, they, we dropped, saw, they dropped the directors or something. But that was Zack Snyder. No. Oh yeah. True. 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 Yeah. True. true. But That's like, something. I don't know if I, if I told you before, but there's like three different Batman that you can portray in the movie. Like Robert Patterson is like the rookie year one Batman, mm-hmm. where he wants to be Batman and has to figure out how to be Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Christian Bale's Batman is where he kind of figured it out. The balance. Where he's like, okay, I can be Batman. And they might think Bruce Wayne is Batman, but they're not 100% sure. And Ben Affleck's the one where it's like, people know who ben A- who Batman is. The right people know who Batman is. Yeah. Like, Bruce Wayne is in the shadow somewhere else, but I can be Batman and still the world can go on. True. I like that. Ben like Affleck's that. Batman is the Bat family, is the Robins. The, yeah. That Christian Bale's is the one where he might have a Nightwing. Eventually type stuff. Uh, type yeah. stuff. And then Robert Patterson's is just... Hey, I just got back from the training. Like I'm ready to just whoop some ass. Yeah. So you what know? do you what are you expecting in regards to movie quality or like? Do you I'm, I'm expecting it to be like a real grimy film. Yeah. Like him just out here. Get, he's gonna get beat up a lot. Like yeah. it ain't just gonna be smooth. Cut. Like he gonna f- beat people up just as much as he getting whooped. I feel like he ain't gonna know how to hide it either. Like he gonna just be whooped. It's gonna be all in his face. And but he that's gonna, how he gonna be showing up to meetings just like hey mm-hmm. guys. That's, like, that's how it is. He's like in the comics they be like, what's he doing? And they be like, oh well, he is a martial artist. He gonna have black eyes, no sleep, and stuff like that. So it's gonna be kind of like, what the hell is he doing? Mm-hmm. But then who is this Batman figure? That's what it's kind of. That's what that movie's gonna play off of. And it also depends on who the bad guy is. I think it's, it's uh, the Riddler. It's it? Riddler. Oh, yeah, I think it's the Riddler. I thought it was Penguin. No, but see, they should get Andre Two Thousand to play the Riddler. I'm gonna just say that that would be cool because I think it's supposed to be more of a detective, like mystery type of thing. They want because the biggest thing a lot of folks said, Batman's supposed to be one of the smartest people in all of DC comics, and they right. they have yet to really address that in any of the comics. Like the closest they got was the Joker movie with with Christian Bale. That was the closest he got to being an actual detective. Right. But like everything else, just been do like hit him up or throw a batarang at it. I don't know if you've seen the animated movies, but the animated movies do a real good yeah. job of him being like a detective. They got more time. They they can they can explain more that way. It's like yeah. with with a with a live action, you got to kind of just get right to it. So like, or and then they all they always got to have like a a love interest and all of that all of this stuff because well, that's that's, Batman get bitches. You know what I'm saying? He does indeed. <laughs> he does indeed. Both uh, the the super villain kind and and the regular everyday. Mm, Lawyer kinds, I guess. But I don't that, know. Well, that's the thing with Batman is like he's just as crazy as the people he's fighting. Batman is literally a mental illness that refused. He refuses to go to therapy. That's all the Joker be trying to tell him. He's like, yeah, I'm crazy, but you are too. You, you know that's what? all he's My trying to say. My thing is this: ba- Batman's biggest, like everything about Bruce Wayne, in my opinion, his origin story is his reason for being Batman is stupid. Everything, vengeance, vengeance. You telling me you trying to avenge your mama and daddy? Who were dumb enough to walk down? Because even though it wasn't called Crime Alley or Murder Alley, whatever, until after they was murdered, that couldn't have been the best neighborhood in the world. But when every building and street is named after a Wayne, you would think, okay, My I thing, got some sort of safety here. Or, or you shouldn't, you ain't gonna walk around with no type of security. That's also like, no, Bruce, we're gonna, we're not gonna take the shortcut. Yeah, like I'm wearing ten thousand dollars worth of pearls. And I got a hundred thousand dollars in my wallet. No, we're gonna take the long way. So what you're gonna yeah, do? Yeah, it's the Riddler. Sorry to interrupt. It's the Riddler. Okay. So as Bruce Wayne, you mean to tell me because you are upset that your mom and daddy got capped in front of you, you're gonna go through all this martial arts and mental fitness and training and all of that to beat on the lower income people of Gotham City that you could potentially just help with your money? 
But no, nah, I'm going to whoop on y'all, put y'all in a prison that can't hold y'all because y'all get out every two days, and then put beat y'all up and put y'all right back up in there. How much therapy do you think a, a, a freaking uh, uh, a thug that works for the Riddler got to go through? Because every time he pop up, bat signal just 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 all, just all <laughs> over. Like, come on. I don't I don't get it. I'm never going to excuse a white man just beating up on folks in the ghetto. <laughs> I don't get that. You what in Chicago of all places. I know it's Gotham City. It's, it's supposed to be Chicago. based off Chicago, right? Yeah. yeah. Chicago and New York mix. Yeah. Kind of. You not I no he gets no mm. I, I love overall the Batman character, but that's always bothered me. As a you a white, well-off man that mm. decides that instead of using your money and resources to build the Gotham community <laughs> that you love so much, I'm going to just Go throughout the night and just beat up on the lower income folks. But you, but it does seem like Gotham City don't have like black criminals because he don't never re- you don't ever really see him just beating up black people. That's mm-hmm. fair. Like Lucius Fox is like big, you know. Yeah. So, like black people in the DC universe are pretty well off. That's fair. For the most part. That's fair. Oh, they're cyborg. All oh, they're them. cyborg. Yeah. He's pretty well off. And I'm pr- I'm pretty sure though that like oh, I'd have been a villain so fast. You've been <laughs> my thing is uh, Batman creates like half of his villains. Half of the villains he in Gotham. All the villains. Half <laughs> the villains in Gotham City are all some type of product of Bruce Wayne's stupid decisions. Yeah. The Joker is literally because Bruce Wayne, that was his first failure as Batman. The Riddler was was his boy Harvey Dent. Got too deep into it. He thought he could trust him and tell him everything. My man's and got all mentally messed up, jacked up in the face. It's, all of this is because of you. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to beat you up because I messed you up in the first place and then put you in a mental institution that yeah. I should be in. Yeah, if you would have just funded Gotham City just a little bit. That's all he had to do. <laughs> but Probably no, would have been no crime. In the daytime, I need to just have sex with a bunch of people to keep up an appearance. Forget, <laughs> man, I'm not letting you steal a bunch of little white boys off the street and tell them, hey, y'all want to beat up people too? <laughs> like like in, the, in this uh, Zack Snyder film at the end when, uh, when uh, Batman buys a... Uh, Superman's house back, yeah. and, and Superman's like, I, I don't know how I'll ever repay you for buying this house. I bought the bank. Bro, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, like, relax. How about you buy Arkham Asylum and actually put some psychiatrists in there? I feel <laughs> like he's funding Arkham Asylum to just send folks back out there so he can find people to beat up. If he goes two days without beating somebody up, he might commit murder. He might kill Alfred. <laughs> like, like he, I don't know why he didn't kill Joker off rip. That's how crazy he is. Oh, yeah, I don't kill. Yeah, but I don't kill. How many people has this dude killed? I'm going, I'm, I'm going to mentally incapacitate you. I'm going to terrorize you for life, but I'm not going to kill you. And these superheroes, it goes to Marvel too. Y'all need to have some side effects for beating people up. Because like <laughs> Batman just be like launching people on their necks. Nigga, you, have you and played Arkham Asylum? I have. Have you played Spider-Man? This nigga be web slamming people on the ground Bro, he be 40 feet in the building. air. Yeah. <laughs> and they get up. Oh, yeah, you're going to jail. No, that nigga's dead. <laughs> his back came out of his mouth, bro. He's going to a funeral. Like, that, that, come on now. Right. I've watched you. You've seen the the the, the X ray when you when you uh, do the detective mode as Batman. You've seen the the bones you be hitting. They be all recovery time forever. <laughs> yeah, he been unconscious since the first Batman game. <laughs> I mean, he did. We still ain't woke him up yet. I'm not man. Oh, real quick, Wh- where do y'all think is worse to live, Marvel New York or Gotham City? Mm. Metropolis is the absolute worst place. Because it's always some shit going on yeah. in the tropics. I feel Gotham's just like Chicago. Yeah, Gotham's just Chicago. Except Batman's just beating people up. Because the criminal, <laughs> the Batman's criminals ain't <laughs> the toughest people. They, but see, Batman. Like Harvey Dent, like you, you, what? You got a gun. Batman's criminals. Batman's criminals always got hostages, though. At the very least, well, I should say at the very least. Superman usually be fighting folks like straight up, yeah. but Superman got some stuff at answer for too. Why? Do, why can't you be like Goku? You always want to fight people at the crib. You want to be at. You go. You walk right out of work into a ex, exposed <laughs> area. A yeah. bunch of folks just outside. All right, it's time to square up. At least Goku go off to the grass fields. He be watching out for the animals. Yeah. He be like, yeah, ain't no animals or people over here. We can fight. We can fight. Superman be like, no, square up right well, now. I don't, well, Brainiac <laughs> just dropped that ship in the middle of Metropolis. He can't tell him, like, hey, let's uh, just go. Ain't much you can do about that. But it be, it be spots where, like, Lobo will just drop in on Superman. Mind you, Lobo is there to hunt Superman. So wherever you go, he's going to follow. you like, no, we're going to fight right here, yeah. right now, and rush our traffic. Like, why can't Superman just, like, pick everybody up and fly him into space? Because he don't want to kill either. Depending on the comics, Superman don't want to kill. Who don't you want to get? Well, you going to lock Darkseid up in Gotham PD? <laughs> See how well the Riddler and the Joker handled that moment. 
<laughs> well, I think Dark Side in the comics and the the cartoons I've watched, he's the only one that that Superman is like flat out said I need to kill because he's just like evil. Yeah, and he's just too strong. That's a he's a literal god. It depending on like I guess who you ask. I hope they make it. It looked really know. interesting. I want to like see said, him never, squirrel. He's got to. It's got to be. Just, it's got to be a one on one with don't, him and Dark Side. Remember, guys, don't tease if you can't please. <laughs> so, words from the zookeeper. Yes, sir. But no, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I've never seen like I said a DC movie and. I'm watching the next couple of them. What's for sure? Until they ruin that it. That Suicide Squad trailer. Check that out. They ruin it for you me. think that's going to be good? I think it's going to be better. Because the okay. guy that did Guardians of the Galaxy is doing it, James Gunn. Okay. I yeah. like the first Guardians. The second one was meh, but the first one was pretty good. Yeah. So I'll give him a shot. We'll see. And I like Margaret Robbie too, so. <laughs> white girl, white girl. Oh, <laughs> yo, <your> man. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Another comment. What do y'all think is like the insurance policy to live in, New- in in Marvel New York? They have a different. Well, got- Iron Man covers the damage control. Man, I ain't, man, look, well, he they, did that among like an hour. They have every superhero. Stan Lee was like, we just don't pack it. It's more superheroes than it is civilians in in, in New York and <laughs> in, in Marvel. Right. Them niggas didn't broke every building you can think. Of. They ain't did everything but break uh, the Statue of Liberty. Honestly, but it's like, <laughs> why you got seven people defending Queen? <laughs> like, come on! You like, got, you got Luke can't... Cage, Spider Man, Iron Fist, Daredevil, like Punisher. Come on! You it can't be all of them. Like, it can't be all of them. I, it can't be. I don't see it. But it's like it's the very still can't stop him. All of that yeah. just to get thrown through another building. Yeah. It's like, and my thing is this: when Luke Cage and them fighting, where is Spider Man? Spider Man not patrolling the city. <laughs> what, what, what are you Man. doing? You not you not doing homework? <laughs> what are you doing? He's working his pizza job. <laughs> oh gosh! Shout out Toby McGuire. It's <laughs> <Pizza> time. <laughs> I felt so hurt when he got fired. I was like, no. I mean, you know how messed up them pizzas is. You oh, swinging yeah. the, doing the, flips. The, the flash, the flash was uh, his facial expressions were, was reminding me of Toby McGuire. Yeah, like spot on. I, that's how I was thinking. They always get the like flash. I don't know. A lot of these superheroes like. They look alike. Like the, yeah. it's, it, they have certain features that are very similar with, with like the Tom Hollands and the Tobys. Like they have. I'm, I'm also very excited. They, they said they just finished. I think uh, a couple of days ago, finishing. Uh, it's done. Uh, yeah, filming uh, the next Spider Man. Ooh, so, excited! I'm very excited. See I the, am too. That's, that's see the Queens and they. Uh, yeah, that's, see my Queen Marissa Tomei. Ah-ha. <laughs> shout out! Shout out to her, man. She to that's man. that is a wonderful woman. Right there. <laughs> hey, watch my cousin Vinny if you asking why I'm at, shouting out Marissa Tomei. <laughs> That was by far probably one of the greatest casting choices in Marvel history. Yeah, she it works for her. Yeah, it was like, yeah, Aunt May. Because it didn't make any sense for her to be some old, wrinkly, like, ah, yeah. like I just I wish they would have grew Spider-Man up. Like, you got three movies and you're still in high school. He's still a freshman in high school. He's like, yeah, <laughs> does he even have a driver's license yet? He's nah. technically 21 years old. Yeah. <laughs> At yeah. the end of uh, Endgame. Like, yeah, because it was five years, so yeah. I don't know. Next. I don't know what their goal is with, with him. I honestly feel like that's... I, I think still, this is last one. But I told you, though, I still think that's like a lot of like Marvel's like middle fingers to Sony. Well, this is last movie. All right, we'll see, then. Is this an end of his contract? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You are right. So, hopefully. Shout out Tom Holland. He got some pretty good movies out on Netflix. Yeah, I heard that they're pretty good. I'm, I'm excited. Are there any... Because I know I ask this at the end of everyone. Well, not the end, but at during everyone. Are there any other movies you guys are looking forward to, not necessarily comic book related? Or are there any questions that you guys in movies we've like talked about watching, like this don't make sense or whatever, whatever? No, I mean we touched on the King Kong Godzilla. That's about the only thing I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm still because I yeah I I reiterate I got Kong winning for Kong. sure. Kong Kong got my thing is you don't bring somebody you don't knock somebody out bring them to an uh, enemy's territory they ain't seen in a hundred some years. And, and they got to lose. No, nah, bro, I, I wasn't expecting to come and see this mm-hmm. nigga again. I got to win. There's no, way, there's no way. I know they're going to pull some BS because, like, King Kong ain't got no bad guys, so they probably going to make him lose. But You think so? I think. Because it's, it's, Godzilla got all the monsters. Like, he's got history of fighting a lot of people. That's true. King Kong, I ain't, he only fought Godzilla. Yeah. And, and Jack, Black. Yeah, Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm 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 very excited for that, and I'm I, I don't know I'm just excited for movies to kind of be back. Um, we've talked about the world really opening back up, like it's 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 for sure happening now. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. I'm ready to go back to the theaters and paying thirty dollars. I'm not. I'm I'm cool on this that. HBO Max kind of. I am cool. Kind of spoiled me. I am cool on theaters, bro. I ju- I just got it. 
I literally got HBO Max last night. So watch that. Because it's a movie. So I'm about to binge Euphoria. Uh-huh. And I'm probably about to see any other, like, Shout out Sydney time. Sweeney. Hey. Shout out to that other girl. Um, the she's, like, super Hispanic chick, yeah. too. Yeah. I forgot Shout your name her. for her. Yeah. So Queen. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But honestly, bro, I'm good on movies. On, on like, the so, movie theater. Yeah. Because it's just like, for what, bro? Especially, well, I don't know if they'll keep it up. but There's if H- certain movies. If that, HBO, yeah, oh, Marvel movies, sure. Yeah, I'll go yeah, see that. Like, these D- DC movies, I would have loved it, honestly, in the theater. Not this four hour one. Heck no. Forget that. Intermission. I, I heard other countries do intermissions. Like, But you got to go to one of them theaters that got, like, the food and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the one where you click the button. Yeah. The butler. I kind of don't like those because then they distract you. Yeah, because I used to like, shoot, what can I order? <laughs> yeah. You order it before the trailer. You nah, order there's enough people, for there's other people who are like, fucking, you got the fucking waitresses walking back and forth. And you're like, dang, wait, I didn't know they had that on the menu. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> what you got? You know, no, I taste that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smell that. No, get that out of it. I don't want that. Uh, what? Okay, let me ask y'all this real quick. Because I know we talked about this a few weeks ago, actually. Uh, since we're talking about movies and actors and whatnot, I saw this question raised on Facebook. Will Smith for Jamie Foxx? On what? Jamie Foxx. You got just Jamie, acting? Just acting, period. Will Smith picks bad movies. I, Jamie has some bad mm, movies, too. He ain't got as many bad ones as Will. He also doesn't have many. I don't think nah, he has many movies, period. I like Will. I think, I think Will. I feel like, I'm going I'm to say this. I think Will, most of his best roles, except for maybe Pursuit of Happiness, are all basically another version of him. They're, they're, like lies. That's yeah, true. like they're all a different, like it's the cool guy. He either curses a lot more or curses a lot less. <laughs> Jamie is like a chameleon. Jamie Foxx was so good as Ray Charles that he played him on Gold Digger. They, they, they didn't even use the actual uh, Ray, Charles. Ray Charles. They used uh, Jamie, yep. They used Jamie so they wouldn't have to pay the, the fucking, royalties and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the royalties and shit. Any given That's, Sunday, sorry to cut you off. Uh, you're good, you're good. Yeah, I, I want to say Jamie is a be- I think... Will has had better movies in regards to like who like if I had to sit down and just pick somebody's catalog, Will has had better movies, but he usually yeah. plays the same kind of guy. It's some type of it's some type of law enforcement usually. Yeah, he plays law enforcement like in almost all concussion, healthy tooth. I didn't see that movie. <laughs> that was a good movie. It was a good movie. I, it was. Yeah. Okay, I may have to check it out. He got that terrible African accent. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Healthy a lot, a, a lot of a lot of my African <laughs> homies that watched it, they was like, bro, this is by far the worst Nigerian accent I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah, it was heard. a bad accent. It was funny though. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and here's where I would have used my terrible African accent, but I've grown. Oh. Okay, <laughs> hey, hey. That's, I'm not racist. That's called growth. Uh, but yeah, like James. in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Not that girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. We're really getting there. But yeah, Jamie really just like, excuse me, dives just into his roles. Like he's, I've heard his Mike Tyson impression. Like I can't wait. Whenever, the, whenever this little mini series or whatever he's supposed to do comes out, I don't care how old he is. I want to see that. Yeah. I want to see what he what he brings to that. And it's like, yeah, Will really convinced me he was Ali. But shoot, Jamie was in that movie too. And then he bodied the role he was in. And then yeah. Jamie bodied obviously Ray Charles. Like I don't know. It, it's 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 a tough one. Will ain't got a Django. That's true. He won't, I don't think he'll. Mm. He don't got nothing that go up dang. against Django. Can I switch? Can I be Jamie? Now? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I switch? He don't got dang. He don't, he don't got nothing that go Django. up against Django. He got Leo DiCaprio. Jamie got, but Jamie don't got nothing of like Independence Day stature or or Bad Boy stature. Jamie ain't got no trilogies. Jamie ain't got uh, no I'm, trilogies. I'm, I'm, let's be real. We didn't need a Bad Boy trilogy. Yeah, we didn't. Two need third was one. enough. You like the third one? That third one was it horrible. Was, it, was okay. it came at the worst time too. It was okay because it was that that terrible ass helicopter crash scene was a couple weeks after Kobe's terrible ass helicopter crash. Left a bad taste in my mouth. It was a little corny. It was a little corny too. Martin Lawrence acted like he didn't want to be in it the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, how many times you gonna retire? At this point, it's like, man, fuck you, Will. Yeah. Like I'm no, no, yeah, I have something to lose. My man, my man, he didn't put in, a, he didn't put in an offer to, to move. He didn't try to retire. It's like. Mike, he doesn't want to work with you yeah. anymore. <laughs> my thing is, my thing is, is like, because obviously Martin Lawrence didn't want to be in that movie. You don't think so? I, he wasn't funny in it, so he didn't want to be <laughs> in it. But um, like, why didn't you just make him the captain, or why didn't you just have him get killed when they shot Will? Yeah. And that gives you that revenge story. That way, you get rid of Martin character. You do this last little revenge thing. That's it. Yeah. If you want to move forward without Martin, cool. But Martin don't want to be in this. A lot of people say they don't like because a lot of people say Chubby Martin isn't funny. 
He's but, not. Because <laughs> Martin was such like a physical actor, physical comedian yeah. during his Martin days. And so, so it's like seeing him chubby, it's like, ah. He set the bar too high. The chub- chubby Martin. Fault. It's his own fault. Because they say he, he looked too much like Big Mama. He was <laughs> <laughs> the, the last good movie Martin was in was Roscoe Jenkins. Dang. That was the last. What was that, like, 08? Maybe 08, 09. That was like the last one. And that one, he almost lost because Cedric almost took that movie. Cedric is a Cedric, Cedric is almost a killer. took that movie from him. Cedric, Cedric is a killer. But um, yeah, like Martin, Martin don't want to be funny no more. You don't he, don't, so? he don't want to do it no more. He just want to be a father. That's it. Because even his, like, like you going back to the second stand up there, Run Tell That, it wasn't all that. That wasn't that good. It I do remember. The that. first one, You So Crazy, was funny. Yeah. But um, the second one, he don't want to be funny no more. Yeah, there was another <laughs> um, there was another podcast I was listening to where they said they felt that like Will kind of forced him to take this he because, probably did. because of the money. It. Because it was like it was like and it's like how much more money do you want, Will? If I shoot, want it all, <laughs> nigga, if you gonna pay it, I want it all. all and then, but at what cost? You get another bad movie from Will Smith. I don't think, but see, we're, you're definitely getting a fourth because Bad Boys Three did well. Now. It's it's all about the box office. The reviews can be whatever they're gonna be, but I heard the reviews were solid and they obviously made money because they definitely coming out with a fourth movie. So it's like ugh. they really don't. As long as they don't become like a Fast and Furious franchise, where all of a sudden the bad boys are in space shooting aliens. I don't. Like, I don't want to see Martin Lawrence fine. in another bad boys movie. I'm gonna just be. I don't want another bad boys you. in general. But. I won't watch another bad boys movie. I'm I won't gonna, probably watch three again. I don't need to. I don't, I, I don't need to watch three again. No. I've seen it twice, and I probably got to watch it one more time because my mom didn't see it, mm-hmm. and she was a fan of it, but two is enough. One and two, that's enough. I only saw it because my uncle was watching it. He's like huge Bad Boys 2 movie yeah. uh, fan. Bad Boys 2 is probably one of the – because they, they compared that trilogy. I forgot. It was another cop trilogy they was comparing. Lethal I'm like, Weapon? Was it Lethal, Lethal Weapon? Weapon had four movies. Die Hard. It was oh, Die Hard like had like eight <laughs> movies. Yeah, Die, die Hard is still – he's still dying movies. hard. It's like, <laughs> it's like, bro, calm down. You got my boy Carl Winslow. <laughs> they had him for that one movie. And they, I was like, oh, this is a good movie. They had him for a guest spot in that second movie. They <laughs> had uh, the one with Samuel Jackson. What was that? Die Hard with a Vengeance? Yeah, that, that was, was the third one. one. That, that was, was a that real was cool. good one. Yeah. That was a real good one. But, yeah, so, I don't know. Because Jamie, I think he's gotten to the point where now he wants to do more dramas. So, it's like, is Will a dramatic actor? That's the real question. He it's could like, be. He could be, but he just picks terrible movies. He picks terrible dramas to to, to make dramatic. Yeah. It's like, why are you crying in this movie? You don't need to be crying. Like, you really don't <laughs> need to be I'm just glad he stopped either. trying to make movies with Jaden. Those movies were terrible. Except yeah, for, what except movies for, did he make? Except he only did two. He, it was Pursuit of Happiness and After Earth. After Earth was mm-hmm. more bad because of Jaden than it was because mm-hmm. of Will. That movie was trash, and then Pursuit of Happiness was mid. Let's be for real. Nah, Pursuit of Pursuit Happiness, happiness was, was good. Oh, we're not. We're not going to slander <laughs> Pursuit yeah, of Happiness. Yeah. It was all right. It, it was a good the, movie. It was all right. It wasn't the great. That was his Oscar bait that they that they robbed him of. I'm. Uh, they. He who got who a, won that movie? Who won Oscar that year? I, I gotta find out. We can, we can keep talking about it. I may have to bring it up next uh, episode. It, whoever won it definitely deserved it. <laughs> Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I'm not tolerating all of this, this Will Smith hatred coming from you. Man. I don't hate Will. I was just watching The Fresh that's, Prince. It's just, that's you uh, make terrible Let that movies. go. Let The Fresh you, Prince go. No, I will not. So good. <laughs> that's the best he's no, ever going to be. That's not the... Uh. Nah. Bad Boys won. And, yeah, Bad Boys won. Independence Day was cool. Independence Day was okay. Men in like Black... One and three. Two. One and three. Three was your... Uh, three was decent. Three was, three was decent, better than two. two. Three was better than two. I'm not going to just sit here and let you say... <laughs> three was better than two. <laughs> I don't know if three was better than two. Three was better. I'm telling you. That was I feel like this. That was a solid trilogy. But it was solid. I think I think one was the best. One was the best. Obviously, the first one. I don't know. I best. don't know. Hancock was good. The first one is not always the best because Bad Boys Two is by far the best Bad Boys. Now you capping. Bad Boys Two is Bad the Boys best. Bad Boys Two is not better than Bad, Bad Boys, Boys One. That, what are you were, looking at? They was flipping cars. <laughs> <laughs> it was over the top, bro. Bad Boys One is a is a cop movie. Part Two was a comedy. It was way funnier I, than the first one. It was more at risk was, in the first it one. Was, look, man, it was more niggas was getting shot, and I was laughing the whole time. I enjoyed <laughs> that movie. It, I'm not shitting on it. Bad Boys 2 is a great movie, but it's not better than the first one. The first one had me against the world on the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack has nothing to do with... Yeah, 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 yes, it do. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Uh, I don't know, man. That's tough. Oh, real quick, before we go... They're um they're either filming or they're getting ready to film Black Panther two post Chadwick. What uh, do you guys think? What are you guys expecting? I mean, it's expected. They had to. Yeah. They have to. It made basically. too much money. It made too much money to yeah. just leave. And they're already doing this whole new arc. Like, 
like like all the shows are already WandaVision's over. Mm-hmm. Now we're, we got Captain uh, Captain and Falcon. Fa- Falcon, Falcon, and, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was Falcon a good. One. That was a good. That was a good uh, second episode as well. So I watched it. So yeah, I mean they had to move on. It, they weren't just gonna stop Black Panther for the rest of eternity. Yeah, they just really. gotta have a good story for it. Cause Marvel, Marvel's really on the bubble yeah. for me. Cause I was a diehard Marvel movie guy. Uh-huh. And then after Endgame, I felt like it ended it like perfectly. But y'all want to continue? It ended mm-hmm. that saga. It, but that, but you want you don't have nobody of that star power like Tony Stark. Like I don't care about anybody moving forward. Like I cared about Tony Stark. They trying. I told cause I don't know what they gonna do between them and Sony. I felt like they was trying to hand the reins over to Tom Holland, yeah, and then fighting. Sony was like, "Nah, we gonna need that back, Playboy." I he Tom Holland had a shot, but I mean, it's too cheesy because he's it's still too in high cheesy. school. Yeah, it's way too we cheesy. Need you Toby can't. Toby Maguire back, Toby or Kane. even Andrew Garfield. His movies, his first movie was really good. The Andrew, second one, it just became a love story. Andrew Garfield was a really good Spider Man. He had subpar writing, but his performance was great. I just want a Spider Verse. That's like, another thing. There's three. I, I just Spider-Man. want that. I just want that to happen. Just, just make me happy. Please. We should get that. I, I don't. I don't think we won't. I Do mean, something for the fans. We're supposed to get it. That's supposed to be essentially. If it's not the Spider Verse movie, it's supposed to be like a precursor to it potentially. Yeah. Well, would are you, would you do a Spider Verse if it's not better than the animated one? Yes, you have to. I, I don't know if it's. I not, like the animated one. The animated, the animated one's, one's amazing. But you're probably the best Spider. You Man almost movie. you almost have to just to just for the money's sake because it's a, if you say Spider, I'm buying now, everything. See, now it's gonna be kind of tough because you already saying Toby and Andrew are gonna be in this one, so it's like do folks want to see do folks want to see them again? Why don't you just make it yes. animated? No, because we want to see Toby. You want to see Toby. You want to see. Toby. I want to see that you suit. You want to see Andrew. It's just yeah. the best suit. Yeah, Spider Man has ever worn in, in the TV show. Is that the not not TV show? The live action, live action. That's your favorite one. I like uh, Tom Holland's uh, Avengers one. Not, not I like the Iron, oh, the Iron Spider. That one's cool. I was talking about the the one Tony first gave him. I like that one a lot too. Oh, you talking about the smart the, the yeah, red the smart and blue one? one? Yeah, I like that one. That a one lot. was dope. I really like that. But even Andrew Garfield's the second one was pretty good. That, so the like, one yeah, was alright. They do decent with costume design, but I, I'm excited Very just nice. in general. Hopefully they they do right. Uh, I'm, we are having some type of. Hopefully, y'all don't hear that. We having some weird t- technical thing in the headphones. Oh. But I'm excited for just the the movies to come out. I'm I'm curious what they do. Do they address uh, T'Challa dying? Like how how are they gonna run it? Hopefully, they. I want to see them give the reins over to Shuri. I think yeah. she, I think it's her time. That'd be dope. I I, I think it's about I that like time. That. And, and I don't think people will be mad at that. People will be mad if they just throw in a random new uh, Black Panther. Yeah, like you don't want to see another new person play Black Panther. Or, I don't want to see Idris Elba playing Black Panther. I feel like if it if it is somebody that if they get somebody else to replace uh, Chadwick Boseman, I would like it for them to be somebody of like Africa, like somebody African this time around. Because another it was another complaint. Some Arsenio Af- Hall. Call <laughs> 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 for the game. So Eddie Murphy come back out, Prince Akeem. <laughs> Jesus. Throw that uh, CGI on Denzel and let's keep it moving. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited though. I'm just I say that a lot, but I just really love movies. I'm just excited for what we got Very coming nice. up. But we want to thank you guys for tuning in to yes. yet another yes. fire episode of the Friendly Fire Podcast, the hottest podcast on either side of the Mississippi. Uh, once again, any upcoming artist or anybody who wants to share their music or art or whatever. FriendlyFire2021 at gmail.com. We got a uh, Instagram and social media stuff coming soon. Anything you guys want to say before we get up out of here? Next week, is Chance the Rapper back? No. Nah. We already <laughs> answered that question well, already. I, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll be coming up with another Next topic. topic. <laughs> we are, no, uh, I do want to just say, I know I repeat it after every podcast, but we appreciate y'all listening to us. Yes. Facts. If y'all, don't like about, if y'all don't like what we talk about, give us the feedback. We'll change it up. Give us topics. Give us anything to talk about, man. We're here for the people. Y'all rocking with us. We want to rock with y'all the same. Yes, sir. Anything else to do? Nope, that's it. All right, man. I am Rico, G-Baby, Raul the Zoo 